Hey everyone, it's me, Stagger. I have until 2 o'clock to play this game. Um, the game, the in-game clock is an hour off due to daylight savings. I'm not sure if that's an American-only thing or not, but... Um, essentially, though, Japan doesn't have daylight savings, so it's impossible for me to actually correct the clock. So, <clears throat> anyway... Hey everyone, it's me, Stagger, and we are continuing the Nuzlocke of Telefang Speed version. Um, I'm making this the day after the last episode because I am very busy in the next three days, or rather the next four days. So, um, <clears throat> pretty much. And, yeah, so, um... I actually do have the game running right now. Um, so, today's question of the day really isn't a question, but, you know. It's funny jokes will tell me one. Anyway, I, I just want to hear some jokes in the comments. Just, 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 It could be about anything, and I should tell you I'm kind of a sucker for puns. <laughs> it's a linguist's worst nightmare, but to me, even though despite being a linguist, I absolutely like puns. So... Um, I actually took in the liberty into grinding all my denju to level 80. And I also fixed everyone's FD, even for those that don't need it, like fungus here. Um, oh. You have an extra FD point, let's fix that right now. Even though, like I said, you don't really need it, because... All fixed. So yeah, I, I grind everyone to level 80, despite me saying level 70. And the reason for that is because since I lost Peanut, I really don't want to lose any more Denju at all. Oh, and Nataro's level 81 by accident. Um, but yes, essentially everyone is level 80. I think I'm the very first person to grind you up to level 80 before before the final before I even get to the end game oh my gosh I'm pretty sure that there are some people who probably did some solo runs but you know for this many Denju <laughs> yeah I got it anyway so today I'm gonna to bring in Zeb Striker our Berzelia Apparently it's Brazilia, not Brazalia, but yeah, we're gonna have Zeb Striker with us today because we neglected him ever since we got him. So now it's now it's Zeb Striker's time to shine, and I can really just go straight to the exit, or really, yeah, pretty much I can just go straight if I want to and leave my friends behind. Let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and use Brazilia in action. We do have our chance right now, too. Let's also see um, how well behaved some of our Denju are. So I'm going to bring in Horseshoe and Rosie. Oh, right, I saw the animations off. I forgot about that. Well, at least there's some improvement. Rosie got in. Can't, you know, came over. And look at this, I can now attack with Horseshoe. That's epic. I'm very happy about that. And here's Rosie. Take it out. And it lived. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's fine. Um... I forgot what it's about to do. Oh, well, that's fine. Hey, Nataro, que pasa? Uh-huh. Sure. Hmm. 
anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get through here. Okay, you have this guy. Oh! I forgot to turn on the animations, that's what I forgot to do. Okay! You have zero FD. This is how well you treat your danger, sir. Okay, so you have two, um, or er, you have three of these, uh, devil dangers. Okay. Um, or no, these are actually explosion dangers. They're all forest. So, let's go for... Really, now. Okay, let's go for noisy, and... Stall tactics. <laughs> Taro. Okay, so these may not be very exciting battles because I've got the animations, but um... Wow! Oh, okay! I forgot how strong Grisalia is. Oh man. Let's just use Fly, so that way... We can. Oh, that way we can get noisy here a little bit faster. Hey! <laughs> it's only doing like 67 damage. That. Okay, so either Brazalia is really. Brazalia is really strong, or. These guys are super weak. Okay. Animations. On. There we go. Everything is good again. Let's spam A in this one. Diorite! That is really cool. Look at that. He's not afraid to just stomp on someone. You know, these researchers just really don't care. They don't mind the kids just, you know, just taking their stuff and whatnot. They don't even mind that there's any even an intruder. Oh yeah, that's right, you can recover too! That's epic! Oh, wow. What? My voice just went really high there. <laughs> That's epic! Anyway. Hey, what's up? Pokoro! Pokoro! Okay. Oh, um, yeah. This guy. Throws out the hair and let's telefang. Okay, so sand denju. Grassland and grassland. So sand denju. We already have a grassland denju, which is really bad. Um I mean it's not bad to have a grassland denju, but it's really bad that our that you know there's a sand denju out there. Okay, so there are two grassland denjus. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab two sand dentures. There we go, now we're completely balanced out. Okay, 
Okay. You snarl. Huff. Let's take out the sand dingy first. Let's poison it. And that failed. Nine damage. That's insane. Do I need healing now? It's okay. Poison needle. One hit KO. Stomp on it. Great job, team. We did it. Heels. Okay, there we go. A, a meteoroid. A meteoroid. All right, cool. Okay, so we pretty much explored this entire area, except for what's up there. Um, I might as well just go for it. Wait. There's also another spot that I missed. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it. Of course we're in another location, but we're in a new location. <sighs> Tired of these stupid battles. I've done enough grinding. In fact, I think now everyone's at the point where they need 999 EXP. Yeah, that's, that is actually the case. I would like one. Can't really have one. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at that HP at level 55. That's insanity. That's by far the most HP any Denshu has. I, I, I do strongly believe that this has the highest HP stat. It just has to be. Guard. Que pasa? Alright, um... Okay, so we have the Sand Deju, a Mountain Deju, and a Forest Deju. So they have synergy. So, Forest, Sand, and Grassland. So... Have a Grassland. They have a Grassland. They have a sand. I have a sand. They have... What was the other one? Oh yeah, forest. Forest. Yeah, it's probably best if I don't have... Okay, never mind. Um, let me change this idea. Okay, so they have grassland. I have sand. I have sand. They have forest. Okay, so flying... And I can't really bring in a water dendu because if I do that their aquatic or no, their sand dendu is pretty tough. Or sorry, their forest dendu is really, really strong and really really fast. So it's probably best for her to stick with uh probably go with Definitely this guy. Let's bring in the hill then too. Yeah, let's do it. Oh crap! No, that was a bad idea. Oh man. One hit. Yes! Good job. Okay, there's one threat down. Let's... Let's snarl at this one as well. Okay. Comic the punch! <laughs> Right, it's not coming plants with the rush now. Wow, 105 damage. Alright. Needle. Alright, and then you just stomp on it. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, we did it. We did it. Okay! Hey Lester, what's up? Mm -hmm. Huh. Alright. So, let's go up here. Oh, well, wrong button! I pretty much explored this entire map, except for the place where the key is. Okay, so we have a Grassland Denju, a Grassland Denju, and a Sand Denju. Okay! We can handle this. So, Sand Denju, and Sand Denju. Let's do it! Let's 
Snarl the threat. Put that thing to fear. Now, yeah, beat the, beat the guy that's the biggest threat. <laughs> that's kind of important there. How much punch? Not that much damage. Let's kill this guy first. Wow. Alright, one down, two to go. Okay, he's loading up your demo attack, I see. Poison Needle! Oh no, that's actually Sting Needle, or... yeah. You have Poison Needle! And that failed. Dead end. I can't believe that. Wow. since this game has no repels! Yay! Alright, so... I honestly don't know what to commentate for now, because like... Like I said, I made this a day after yesterday's video. So I don't really I'm not really fresh with any new material to talk about. Um So as I play this game, I'm also playing um Telefang 2. The main reason for that is because to be honest, I've actually never beaten it. Um I got to the ruins and I got to the point to where I got to the ruins, which is pretty much near the end of the game, and I just got lost. Really? That was it. That's the main reason why I actually I stopped playing the game, because, well, first of all, the game is freaking huge, so I can't really... And sometimes I just tend to lose interest when the game, when the game gets repetitive. Like, the biggest problem with it is not really the fact that it's practically a maze. Um, the problem is that there are buttons that you need to press in order to continue said maze. And... And those buttons, I forget which one does what, and I just ended up losing interest and then continue playing the game. It doesn't help that the only walkthrough of the game is a P.O.S. Because... 
I mean, I can't really gripe about it because the only walkthrough that they have, period, of the game. But you know, it was just as bad as this walkthrough's um, one. I mean, like, I was stuck on Liz Island for so freaking long, mainly because the game or the walkthrough never truly explained how you how you switch Denju. And same thing with the game itself, it never really told you how to do that. So, I actually kind of had to learn on my own. Or actually, no. The game does tell you it, but the problem is, it tells you how to do it uh, via phone call. And via phone call, it's like, you know, so, and every phone call is approximately five minutes. And so, like, just being stuck in that island for so long, not figuring, not understanding what to do and how to call, you know, noisy in order to stop the E-Wave from, you know, going all cuckoo crazy. It's just... Oh no, it was just really annoying and... <laughs> um... Yeah, I finally understood it once, uh, I believe it was, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was a, basically, yeah, a call from a Denju saying, saying, call a Denju over to, call a Denju over over via or from your D shot. I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's all I needed to do. Okay. Wow. That's ridiculous. Just I, I was just stuck on there for so freaking long. It, it was crazy. And then in this case, though, there really isn't. Or I didn't know that there was actually a bootleg of the game at the time. And even if I did, oh wait, no, I did. But the problem was that you know the game crashes as soon as you, you know, go into as soon as it goes into a D shot mode. So I just couldn't really play the game in general, and I can't get any hints from Denju. There was only a walkthrough guide that only explains things as if it was a speedrun guide. And honestly, I just couldn't fathom on what to do. Um, so I just kind of got bored playing the game. But I'm gonna be playing it from the beginning once again because I can't. Because you know, I can't just not finish the game. Um, but it's really something that I wanted to really accomplish. That's one of my main goals, to finish Telefang 2. Um, and this may sound cliche, but honestly, I, it is also partly because I do find this Telefang a lot better than Telefang 2. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're both great games, and they both have their own unique charm. But it just felt like it was less serious of a game than this game was, and you know, it is slightly a bit more focused on storyline, and I didn't really know the actual storyline until after uh, I've actually played a, a version of the bootleg, and and the game was a lot, and I even admitted on video, the game's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be, um, but it was just something that, you know, I thought it was just, you know, just a typical whimsical adventure. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that dark about, you know, having to find your dad and whatnot. You know, he, he's not from, he's not, he hasn't gotten into the Denju, or he hasn't exited the Denju world. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and. For those who have played the game, they would know that 
Well, actually, it is kind of a spoiler, but yeah, for those who do know who has played, played the game, yes, I am very aware that that there are these adults that you meet. Um, I am very aware that they're okay, but, well, I can't really say without doing any spoilers, but yeah, it turns out that they're okay, um, but I thought those adults where actually, <laughs> I'm not kidding you, Shigeki and Matsukio. <laughs> I thought that they were just, you know, the legendary tea fingers just <laughs> who saved the Denji world once. Who saved the Denji world and continued living on the Denji world and pretty much made it the way it was. <laughs> um, then I got playing it to English a little bit. Um, and I realized that is completely not the case! So, yeah, the game's a lot darker than I thought it was, and honestly, I might give it a try once again. So, essentially, yeah. Benji Telefang 2, or can I Benji Telefang 2, will be completed. Or will be defeated, rather. Okay, I gotta follow the map a little bit more. Okay, so I'm back over here, so I need to go back... ...to... ...the stairs. Okay, so now that I'm back off the stairs... What I need to do is go up another flight of stairs. I think up there is my where, where I may need want to go. I just realized that this is actually shaped as a skull, by the way. Anyway, son of a duck! So yeah, I, I will I will beat the game eventually, and um. I also won't be calling it any secret dungeon like I did last time. Um, I just got through the secret dungeon because I honestly was bored to play the game. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll give it a second chance. I'm giving Telefane 2 a second chance. Now that I know the story a lot better, so... I imagine it'll be a lot better now. Good also because, I mean, to be fair though, in a sense, I do kind of judge the game based off of its soundtrack, and I don't really care too much um, for music, um, like, as much as my brothers do, but I guess you can kind of say I kind of grew up in a musical family. Um, Darn it, so I have to go up there. Oops, my bad. Um I kinda grew up in a, some kind of musical family, so I'm just so I guess you can kinda say I do like music quite a bit. Just compared to the way my rest the rest of my family listens to music. I'm actually the one of the guys that listens to music the least. And so So with that being the case, I've actually kind of judged bait games based off their soundtrack a little bit. Like, the only great major gripe I had with X and Y, honestly, was really the battle music. I mean, or Pokemon X and Y, was honestly the battle music, because the battle music was just terrible. Anyone can agree with that, and the only way to properly do it is with orchestra. And there are some orchestra remixes, but nothing that would really, uh, you know, say that it's in the heat of battle. It's just, oh yeah, let's just reorchestrate this music, but in a nostalgic way. And I was like, I, I just want to, I, I, I would really like a an orchestra reorchestration of 
of X and Y's battle music, I mean all of it, including the gym leader music, um, the... I'll let the, um, I'll let the uh, lead four and, um, I'll let the Elite Four and Champion music slide because it does fit the tone in the game. Um, and keep walking back and forth, dang it. Okay, I am starting to get really irritated. I need to go up here, right? Because I have no other way of getting around, so... But yeah, that's really the only saving grace that the uh, battle music has. Both the, er, the trainer and the wall battle music. And the gym leader music's okay, but it, it's not really fitting in terms of how the game is portrayed. Like, you know, it's just like, oh yeah, that sounds really cool, and you know, it's a dramatic and very exciting event to fight a gym leader. Let's just make them feel like, you know, they're in a moment that only happens one point in a century, and make them feel like, you know, the gym leader shouldn't be a major challenge, but rather an exciting battle. I mean, like, with Generation 1 uh, Gym Leader Music, they actually did an excellent job with it. With, with, with it. Um, hey there, Luigi. They actually did an excellent job with it. It's It was, an, it was amazing what they did with the Gym Leader Music. Um, Ge Generation 2 was really over-the-top dramatic. Um, oh, dang it, I didn't check. Okay, so we have a Sand Denju and a Grassland Denju as well. This is not good! Far from it! Okay, I have to focus here. I I'm gonna be talking about that topic later. Okay. Okay, so this is our least biggest threat. This is our biggest threat right here. Oh. Yeah, because... Should be fine and... Er, um... Horseshoe should be okay, but... It's just... Really, it's a little bit... Rough right now, because... Oh, crap! I didn't mean to do that. I mean, because look at that. Horseshoe does some major damage, even when it's only half. But, you know... Just the fact that there, I have two weaknesses, that, that's really worrisome. Alright, good job, Rosie. Okay, let's take you out. And there we go. Okay, now I can just fast forward for that last part. So anyway, Generation 2 was just overall dramatic. Generation 3, um... It was... It pretty much fit the tone of the game, like the environment. Oops. Like the environment, so it's forgivable. Um, Generation 4 was... Generation 4 was all about the piano music, uh, dramatic atmosphere, and the... Uh, dramatic atmosphere and whatnot. It was absolutely incredible just to listen to. And I didn't check these this guy's Denju again. So flying... 
So you have two flying denju, one grassland denju. Okay, this I can handle. Oh no! Darn it! But yeah, it was very fitting in the environment that it was in. Yeah, that's not good. Generation 5 was kind of the same way, actually. And then Generation 6, though, it just wasn't fitting at all. I just never really liked the music of Generation 6. Um, in this game, in Telefang, um, the music is really upbeat and hardcore, which fits Shigeki's, you know, at, um, pretty much overall <laughs> attitude, attitude and uh, personality. And then, not only that, but it's also very dramatic, indicating that this is a real big fight against the world. You know, you're you're fighting for your own ideals, and Sh Shigeki's fighting for his own as well. It really, it really just says that. <laughs> I mean, the music in this game is just overall amazing. And, you know, this is coming from a guy that doesn't even like rock music. And that's saying something, if a person doesn't like rock music and likes a game filled, just chock full of rock music, just hardcore, upbeat rock music. I mean, not even Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack even compares to this. And then when it came to um, Telefang 2, it it was fitting, don't get me wrong, but it just felt kind of just empty and blockbuster. It was just there just for the sake of, you know, being over the top. It had like some elements of mixing had elements of mixing both rock and orchestra, which is a cool idea. But, um, you know, sometimes you just kind of got to make it work. And not only that, but because the game is based around phones, and phones can not really produce, you know, basically what you can hear from here. Actually, that's kind of an awkward statement to say. <laughs> but basically, you know, like, actual instruments and kind of MIDI almost. So, and also, in a sense, it was a MIDI soundtrack. So, um, like, you know, they kind of had to make it sound all electronic and whatnot, so they kind of replaced some, um, instruments with some electronical instruments. And, overall, though, it just, it worked. There's just something missing about it. Um, I mean, not only that, but also, like, the overworld music was a little bit quirky, um, compared to this one's, where it's, like, you know, where it's upbeat, looking forward to adventure, and then later on it gets like deep, dark, and like a deep, dark tone. But then in Telefink 2, they just keep it quirky, they keep the tone in, but they wanted the overall quirky atmosphere that they, they let on. So, I don't know, maybe it's just my... I don't know, maybe it is because I like music more than I think I do, but really, overall... <laughs> I guess I just prefer this music over or what it says from uh, Telefang 2. So oh, the main reason why I like Telefang 1 over Telefang 2. I don't even know why I'm breaking these pods. I mean, I really don't need any money. I have the maximum amount. I guess it's just kind of interesting to see the game lag. Anyway, yeah. That's enough ranting for one day. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm going to be busy is because in, in the United States, and also in Canada, but I don't know when it is in Canada, um, wait, you're just out of all grassland. 
crap. That's why I guess we're kind of just not paying attention here. Okay, let's just let's just snarl at one of them just to make sure. You know, Brazelia is really fast, so I can actually snarl two of them at a time, which is great. For one can even make a move. And then you attack the one that isn't snarled. And you attack the one with full health. Okay, that one's still snarled, so... Snarl this one again. This is another reason why I like Brazalia. He's pretty much a tactical Denju. Um, a lot more tactical than um, I mean, Natara. Because he can do it all. He can he can stall, he can heal, and he can attack. He also has a very powerful Dema attack as well. So it's really really Brazalia is an incredible Denju to have. You know, it's just like Skarmory in Pokemon. I, I, Skarmory's my absolute favorite Pokemon, and it can do it all as well. It can recover with Roost, it can attack, and it can defense. So, and hey, Nataro, what's up? Sorry, I just don't want to raise your FD. Anyway. Um... That was kind of pointless. So, if I were to go down... Okay, so I gotta get back down these stairs. Unfortunately. So, not up there. So, let's try navigating through here. Crap! Dang it! I have to go a long way now. Fantastic! I was even trying to make sure to not fall into that stupid hole again. And what did I do? Fall into that stupid hole again. Well, I have no choice. I have to go a long way. So... Actually, this way is pretty short. Okay, never mind. Oh. Okay, never mind. This is a long way. So I have to figure out which what which way which was which. Okay, so I think all I need to do is just really follow the statues, and that should give me my direction. Okay, there's a lot of statues over here. So, this is where the key was, if I remember correctly. This leads to another flight of stairs. So, um... About... I'm back where I started. Okay. No big deal. At least we now know where we're at. So... Anyway... Uh, these darn random encounters. I'm tired of these guys. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. That's a dead end. Hallway. Down. Okay, this is where the key was. Okay. 
So anyway, um, the main reason why I'm going to be busy uh, this week is because um, it's almost American Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving takes place in the fourth, or, or no, in the last Thursday of November, and uh, there's also a Canadian Thanksgiving, but I'm not sure where exactly that is. And I've also heard that there is an Irish or an Ireland Thanksgiving. Which I don't have any facts about, but except for the fact that it lasts for two whole days. Um, but basically what Thanksgiving is in general is that it's basically a gathering where we have a gigantic feast. Um, typically with like turkey and stuff. And... Alright. Hey, fun or, or fungus. Fung war. You're a fung war. You're no longer fung blade. You're a fung blade a long time ago. All right. So let's see here. Sand. Okay. So you have synergy here. Sand, grass, and ah, uh, this thing. Sand, grass, and forest. So sand, grass, and for or sand for grass. Now let's do this instead. Okay, so yeah. then our sand Benju would be their biggest threat. They could take care of the other two perfectly fine. So yeah, it's pretty much just a gigantic feast uh, to celebrate the time we um, settled in um, to the United States, and yeah, yeah, we had a feast back then with um, pretty much the people that were already there, the Native Americans, and then we just ate and ate and ate, um, played party games and whatnot as well. I'm not sure if that's exactly true, but yeah, that's pretty much what it is, and also, that's pretty much all it is, just one gigantic beast. Um, yeah, and so, with that being the case, what we also do is that, oh, you're the last one to do, okay, uh, well, whatever, I guess, anyway, so, Neat, neat, neat. And then, um, the day before um, Thanksgiving, I am actually having Thanksgiving with my mother. And then the day after, I have Thanksgiving with my father. And the day after that, it will be Friday, which we celebrate a day of Black Friday. Uh, celebrate a holiday called Black Friday, which is when a celebration of when the stock market crashed and we buy stuff. That is like pretty much cheap, like like 50% off cheap, like everything, like or lots of major things. Like I'm not very psyched about it or very happy about it because the way that my store does it is that we do it on Thanksgiving to get ahead of the competition. And but still, we're gonna have a very busy day on Friday. And then on Monday, I have to do some more chores um, that I'm following for today. And also, on Tuesday, I have to make some food. Yeah, so I'm pretty busy <laughs> for, these, uh, for the week. Okay, here we go. Dramatic event. Two pots. Two pots. This is this room is completely symmetrical, or almost. But yeah. Two pots. Four statues. Two doorways. Saneba, you're gonna pay for what you did. You're gonna pay what you did to the peanuts. In fact, this is kind of a dramatic event. 
I'm gonna be translating this one. Um, sorry, <laughs> I kind of have to at the moment. Let's see here. Actually, it might be easier if I have the desktop icons on. Anyway, I need to go to VBA. Where is it? Oh wait, that's right. It's in the ignore this folder folder. There we go. VBA. Telephone speed. Save. Control C. Let's go ahead and do this. Control V. Rename. Oh wait. Uh, let's delete the first. Let's delete the actual save. Rename. Add to. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Use the key. Well, 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 well. Mr. Curry. What are you doing here? Don't you know this is not good for you? Be quiet, Saneva. What do you want? Hmm. Mind your own business, little kid. Well, will you let your electric monster friends be with me in the future? What? What for? I'm here to find the dirt to the birthplace of the Denju. Thus, the best way to approach them is to study as many Denju as possible. And you are my best friends. Guys, it was seen that I'm forced to speak louder than words. Let's do it. Oh, that's actually the Denji talking. Guys! Guys, actions are stronger than words. Let's do this. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! YANU! OKAY! The second strongest Denju in the entire game here. Level 68, 774 HP. 174 HP. The attack and demo attack are the highest stats he has. The defense is insane and the demo attack is alright. Has a flaky nature though, so that's at least tolerable. But that doesn't make sense. Why would he be afraid? Interesting. Anyway, yeah, this is the second strongest Denju in the entire game, level 68. Complete insanity, mountain type Denju. Let's get all of our grasslands in the in here. Or is it Yaru? It's either Yanu or Yaru, but either way. Snarl that thing! I did not want it to attack at all. Even if I am level 80, I, I just I just can't let that thing attack. I mean, just look at that eight damage. What? What? Are you kidding me? One second. It is definitely a mountain type Denju. It only did eight damage. Are you kidding me? It's defense, it's insanity, right? Yeah, look at that! Look at that defense! It's demo defense is a lot weaker, so I may have to go through that. <sighs> Put dust in its eyes.
I'm honestly freaking out right now. I'm not even sure how to handle this properly. Just... Oh my gosh! Damn my attack! 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 No! Okay, I can deal with that. I can handle that. Perfectly fine. Look at that! One hit! Oh my gosh! That was intense! One tick. Wow. That was a lot of damage. What? Well, know what we are. Huh, know what we are now? Well, without your Denju, I cannot. I can also figure out where the Denju. Er, where the Tree of Life is. Tree of Life? Are you sure? Are, are you also looking for it? What do you want it for? Nothing. Well, it's alright now. Let's go. Hold on! Stupid Denju. Stupid supernatural Denju. Life tree! Where is it? I don't know. Mr. Curry, this is. <laughs> this is Masukio. Let's go back to Taroko Village. Taranka Village. Musa wants to talk to you. What is it about? It may be about the supernatural Denju. The supernatural Denju. Alright, let's go back to t to Tor Toronto Village. Curry, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, I gotta censor that. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, that was an adventure, <laughs> all right. We have run out of time, but I'm actually not gonna be cutting it until I get to Toronto Village. Why? Because I have to go through that stupid sea again, and I want you to go the way I do. I want you to feel the way I do. I really don't have much to say, except I really want Saneva dead. Okay, 
finally out of that stupid thing. And I'm gonna be saving right before I get to um, Toronto Village. So that way I can show you in the bootleg version. Okay, one second. that anymore. Let's see here. Let's go and oh uh wrong thing. This way? Oh, uh, what? They even paste it? Control V. I don't see it. That's weird. Okay, let's try it again. Sorry, I know it's kind of boring to watch, but. What? Why does it keep getting me over here? Oh. That's weird. Okay. Okay. One more time. We're going to get this. There we go. Here I am. Tell me about the supernatural denju right away. Curry, hold on. You must be tired. Thank you. Er. Thank your friend for your big help first. You're serious and polite, but I'm busy. Come on, tell me what what this is about. Let me tell you about the Supernatural Denju. Supernatural Denju is the first porn in their world. It, <clears throat> it always safeguards the Denju world. I see. You, were told, you told me it was Supernatural Denju who imprisoned the Devil Denju, right? But the supernatural Denju began his long sleep while humans invade the world. Why now is he about to wake up? Before falling asleep, he said to me, so... Told me this. What did he say to you? He said Musa hasn't... Mankind, the new species, invaded the world. Musa, hasn't mankind invaded the new world? I'm familiar with them everything in this world, but mankind may not respect them. Well, I'm going to sleep in the place with a lot of cacti. Musa, don't let anybody come around the, the cacti. Well, human then caused all this. Uh, well, then human called all caused all this. Is that true? Not that was, not entirely, but predictions of the supernatural Denju has come true. Musa, do you know something about Sin Sineba? 
Recently, Saliva has behaved really strange. Is anyone controlling Saliva? To find out the truth, HP Dash, could you please go to the Super Denju Supernatural Denju's place? Well, since my friend's world is in danger, I will do anything I can. Well then, you should take this and leave right away. Got a new D-Shot! Then the supernatural Denju is sleeping on the side of Bebel Mountain through the confusing forest deep in the... deep inside the... Kangutes site. Got a call from OBG! Supernatural Denju is sleeping in the area of Kagut site. Must be handsome guy. <laughs> what the? <hell? laughs> so we got a new D shot, and it's a very sleek purplish blue. That is actually a really nice D shot, I would have to say. So that's it, and I will be seeing you.